Welcome back to the show. It's DXP today, and we're taking a little bit of a, a tech special for you today. Why? In honour of Jitex Global, which is ongoing, as if you need me to tell you that, uh, around this city at the moment. City is busy, as is Jitex, uh, as is our next guest as well, Roman Patak, who is the CEO and the co-founder of Ghibli. So, Roman, yes. uh, I absolutely butchered it a little earlier on, so I'm going to allow you to tell all of our viewers, yes. give us the 30-second elevator pitch. What, what does Ghibli do that others don't? Okay, so Ghibli is a tech-enabled platform which allows businesses of all sizes to deliver to their customers seamlessly and efficiently. This is my elevator So it's pitch. last mile delivery? Last mile logistics. So you see the trend of growing e-commerce industry uh, you know, over the years. Mm. But you are buying online, she's buying online, everybody buys online. But you need somebody to deliver efficiently, to deliver the experience from the experience that you have bought the product and from the experience you're going to utilize the product. Okay. Great. And so do you, does that mean you have a large distribution network of fulfillment centers across the region? Yes, we've got that in place. Uh, if you ask me, uh, we've got 2,000 plus Jeeblers roaming around the streets of wow. UAE. Jeeblers. Uh, yes, we call them Jeeblers and uh, they deliver joy to each and everyone. Uh, we are op we are operating all across seven Emirates across the region as well. We've got offices all across uh, UAE. We've got multiple fulfill cent fulfillment centers. Uh, one is in Dubai, another was in Abu Dhabi, another was in in uh, uh, Sharjah. So that's how we ensure, and uh, we specialize in the same day delivery, making the experience much more better. And recently, we've enabled large e-commerce player to deliver in next three, four hours across Dubai. So that has been groundbreaking and people are just loving it. That's amazing. And there's been trials to use drones for this, correct? Now, yes. what will the landscape of the UAE look like soon? Are they all going to be flying drones? Are they going to be the wheeled ones, like the ones we saw at, saw at Expo? What can we expect? So uh, there are multiple options to use uh, unmanned vehicle, I would say. And when you say unmanned vehicle, you have bots doing deliveries. You have drones doing deliveries. Uh, thanks to the government uh, of here in UAE that provides you infrastructure to operate and I was amazed and surprised to see how the changes have been accommodated in Dubai's Silicon Oasis to ensure that we deliver right and uh, you would not believe even there are changes on the track, there are changes on the road, there are changes in the signals because they want those unmanned vehicle to be traveling around and delivering to your house. So recently, GP has been able to test uh, drone deliveries and I would go a bit technical here. Which, so the test which we conducted this time was beyond visual line of sight. So it means you cannot see the drone flying and it is an unmanned tra traffic vehicle management. So no one can see it is flying but it's still delivering uh, to the neighborhood. So this is one. Uh, and we're thankful to the Dubai Future Foundation, Dubai Civilization Authority, Dubai Silicon Oasis, and there's a special economic zone which has been uh, allocated to do such activities. And the trial was successful, and you know uh, we're hoping to see uh, things coming up in the future. But long way to go. Uh, His Highness is always pushing these in initiatives on a higher scale. They want to have those flying taxis around Dubai. We <laughs> want to deliver through drones. And you want to see the drone delivering to your houses. So very soon, uh, you'll see that coming up. So talking about the industry, what are the trends that you see in the last mile delivery? And um, thanks to COVID for enabling all of us uh, to experience deliveries because everybody was at home and that kind of created and changed the consumer buying behavior and the pattern got changed from offline shopping to online shopping. And that is, that is not going anywhere, uh, though both sites are growing, offline and online. So this is one where the consumer behavior has changed. But talking of consumer behavior, surely, I mean, we're seeing demands get shorter and shorter and shorter. You know, some of the deliveries uh, apps out there are now working with the 15 minute delivery promise, etc. Surely that's putting pressure on the service that you can offer. How do you manage that? So uh, we as Ghibli do not offer such services first. And the second is uh, everybody has understood across the globe. If you see there are many players who are trying to do 15 minutes deliveries, 30 minutes deliveries, one hour delivery, all of that sort. But everything, everybody has understood that nobody is dying. 
to get my shirt or my suit delivered in next 15 minutes yeah. to have a new iphone in next 30 minutes no so it boils down to essentials it boils down to what your needs are hence the food delivery has to be in 45 minutes it has to be managed well so that's where the technology plays an important role and in our company and in our setup we have ensured we provide enough time enough sops to the drivers to operate this is one second is the technology has enabled us to allocate orders so uh, equal distribution amongst all the drivers yeah. so that uh, we don't one driver should not be delivering hundreds of orders one driver should not be delivering five orders so that the equal distribution the technology helps us you know this is one second is you go by the demand basis in the areas you know so say the busy areas you might have multiple riders you try to see where do you need to use what kind of drivers so not always you'll be using the bike drivers for each and every delivery you might use car you might use uh, vans etc so there are multiple uh, i would say uh, the uh, so variables you can to use it. smart technology yes, to prioritize what yeah. needs to be delivered and what the yeah. and now the uh, uh, the mapping solutions right even the google maps is okay this is one but the locally developed technology in the mapping setup that also helps so one uh, quick example would be of makani mm. so if you are able to map it on your screen if you are able to map it along with your delivery system yeah. that provides you exit entrance of the building and hence the driver knows that okay this is where i need to park this is where i need to deliver so that helps raman patak thank you so much for joining us right here in the studio and we look forward to seeing more of your drones flying around the city now Today's Spotlight is on a co-founder with a mission to create sustainability in tech. To tell us all about refurbished electronics, this is Revibe. Hi, I'm, I'm Hamza. I'm the co-founder of uh, Revibe. Uh, Revibe is a marketplace for refurbished electronics. The object we use the most in our life is uh, not sustainable nor affordable, and it's our smartphone. If you take the example of an iPhone, its manufacturing emits 56 kilograms of CO2, for example, and tens of thousands of clean water are being used. Um, and, and it costs about $1,000. So our mission is to make tech more sustainable and more affordable by enabling the mass adoption of refurbished electronics. We are quite proud of having served in less than a year, 20,000 customers already. Um, and we are also proud of being all, already in two countries, the UAE and Saudi. What we strive for and will always fight for is the quality of our devices. We want our devices to be like new. So we are working to reduce the defect rate to the minimum. And also we want to provide the best possible customer service to provide the peace of mind to our users to buy a refurbished device. We want to build the champion in the region on refurbished devices. And um, we also want to take the region to the highest level in terms of circular economy in line with other uh, more advanced geographies where, for example, out of one out of five devices being sold are refurbished. So besides being a great place to live, uh, we've received a lot of help to establish our business in Dubai. Uh, to give an example, we've received free office space for our first years from our incubator. Wow, it is very important to make sure sustainability is part of our tech and lifestyle. But I think now it's time for the roundup. Dua, what have you got for us? Ooh, so according to new research, and this is mostly to ask you guys the questions. According to new research, nearly half a billion small tech items are actually thrown away. And I can attest to this because I was cleaning up my house the other day. I found about seven old iPhones, probably since 19... 99. <laughs> How quickly are you going through iPhones? <laughs> they break every year. You know, don't tell Apple. All and right. a MacBook and an iPad and about two other random phones that visitors just leave in my house when they come into town. So I don't actually know what to do with these items. What do you guys do with yours? So we, I think you're not alone. I think everyone 
has got that drawer, haven't they? Right. Oh, yes. <laughs> They've got it's that drawer. drawer. You don't want to throw it away. It's technology. <laughs> don't throw it away. I might need this iPhone 6S. Yeah. If you uh, hold it, it hasn't happened yet, but you don't want to it. throw it away. It's uh, heck. Hold on to it for long enough. It becomes vintage as well. Exactly. So you want to hold on to that. Um, what do you do with it? Well, uh, as we've just seen there, there are new uh, companies and new, uh, uh, new services that are doing wonderful things, whether it be refurbing, as we've just seen there, or of course, a virus is it, that do the repurposing yeah. of el electronical wares. So there's options out there. Right? I mean, yeah. Div should, correct me if I'm wrong, but every phone has a bit of gold in it, is that right? <laughs> if you get enough phones, you but should be able to melt it all down. According to research, a smartphone can be used for seven years if used well. Okay. Yeah, but then you yes. won't be able to use like the new apps and stuff. But I think it's a change in <laughs> consumer behavior that when you get a new uh, up upgraded service, just, you just want to get it. Yeah, I mean, that does make sense. But I, I mean, I don't have seven iPhones like do I? I, I think do. I went from the 10 to the 14. So I think I need to wait for the 18 now, <laughs> <laughs> following that trend. I literally have them from uni. Well, there's definitely a lot more for us to talk about. We're going to take a break in just a little bit, but what have we got coming up? That is right, and Ahmed goes down to check out the largest tech event of the year, Jitex Global. Plus, we've got a live performance from one of the coolest duos in town. All this and more. We will be, uh, we'll be right back.